Welcome everybody, VST here, Venice Priest Tech, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, opening the Galaxy Store, boom, what a surprise, a new version for the Samsung One UI Home, the default stock Samsung launcher used in One UI. So what is new here? Fixed bugs when using recents and fixed minor bugs and improved stability. It's very, very interesting to understand really what is happening here. What is the difference between fixing the bugs when using the recents and fixing any other minor bugs and actually not knowing what those minor bugs are but improved stability is actually what draws my attention. If you're not familiar with the power of the One UI launcher, guys, you can check one of the many videos on YouTube. Of course, also some of my videos are really dedicated on One UI Home Launcher. I did the One UI Home Launcher versus the Pixel Launcher versus um, iOS, iPhone, etc. But the description is meet the official Samsung launcher for the Galaxy is beautiful and convenient. The One UI Home comes with a simple screen layout neatly arranged icons and home and app screens that perfectly fix the Galaxy devices. One Eye Home has become even more convenient, okay? This is like this thing here, guys. Hey, what is new? We fix some bugs. And what is else new? We fix some minor bugs, okay? So this is actually a beautiful and convenient product and even become more convenient. All right, guys, now joke apart i just want to show you guys this is the recent version how can we check the version from the current one year launcher so if you do have a samsung galaxy phone or any other samsung phone it will have the one year launcher just hold your finger here on the main screen go to settings guys scroll down and then you're going to see the version right now i'm using 1310163 now this version here is actually 13 one zero three three and it's from the 13th of april it's only 14 megabytes right so it's probably just some, really some minor bugs but let's just try to test the stability on my previous launcher then let's update to the current launcher and let's do the same test so something very annoying guys this animation here sometimes is lagging for me and it doesn't really matter if i'm using fhd or wkhd 60 hertz or 120 hertz it's not perfect also when going here to access samsung free or to access the google discover it actually just changed to Google Discover, I'm also experiencing some stutters. Okay, see, yeah, this was a bit better. Now let's try to do this one more time. Okay, not so many stutters right now. All right, and now let's try to open the recent menu. Okay, so boom, recent menu. I actually never had problems with the recent menu. You can do plenty of things there. Click here, you know, pop up view. Rah, click here. Okay, and now also go and try to use it in a split screen view with something else, like let's say. Gmail, it all works and it by the way works in a very convenient way and this is why I believe and I was saying this in one of my recent video it, if there are some Oscars guys for a mobile operating system yeah, Samsung One UI definitely winning this one. It costs really, it has all the other options, all the stands of customizations without you being required to root your phone and mess up with the phone, install custom software modes. This is the current version I'm using right now. We have the home screen layout. You can choose between home and apps and only home screen. The only difference is right now you can have all the applications here inside or you can have them on the home screen like I do have. Okay, so this is something I think very stock functionality. Then we have the home screen grid. Okay, we can see all the options here. Okay. Okay, let's go back we have the app screen grid all the options there we have the folder grid 3x4 and 4x4 then you have the media page this is actually going to go discover or samsung free show up screen button on home screen i don't use that one lock home screen layout every time you install a new application add it on the home screen you can also hide certain applications like yeah you know like the <laughs> l one up icon badges you know show with number or a dot this is about notifications swipe down for notification panel is also a nice function and rotating it to the landscape okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click here i'm going to click the update button let's try to install the latest version of samsung one ui home and actually see if they added something that is not described in a change log and let's also try to open a ton of application and see how the recents menu is going to behave and voila it has been installed. So how can we check again? Hold the finger here, go inside settings, click down, boom. A version is the latest one. Going inside will also get you this confirmation. The latest version is installed. So we have the home and screen apps, okay. We have an home and screen grid, it's pretty much the same. The folder grid, let me just check that one. Okay, three by three, four by four. We do still have the same options as we've seen before. The adding media page, the showing apps, the lock home, the add new app, the hide apps, the app icon swipe, pretty much the same. No obvious changes. They, of course, claim that some bugs and some minor bugs have been fixed. Let's just see the recent menu, right? Oops, one more time. Maybe a bit more fluent, guys. Yeah. 
Wow. Actually, no, I think this animation... Wow, my God. Could this be really fixing this micro stutters we experience? I really hope so. This animation, by the way, is very, very, very smooth. All right, let me just do it one more time. Okay. Yeah. Let's swipe down for notifications. Oh, also very smooth. This has been also something like very, very bad uh, in terms of using my S20 Ultra. Just swiping down on notifications and unraveling the quick settings here was a disaster sometimes. But right now, oh, okay. Even this animation has become smoother, guys. Let's just now access again. Yeah, definitely, I think definitely smoother. So this is probably fixing some of this annoying micro stuff. Oh my God, the notifications are really dropping so smooth. I mean, like I can almost feel the taste of butter. And I, you can see, see, I have a lot of notifications. Yeah, one more time. Okay, let's try. This, this animation is still not perfect, see? Okay, let's try to see some of the widgets. Yeah, okay, no problem at all. Let's try to see, okay, if I wanna add a widget. Yeah, it's not that bad. Let's just check the notifications again. Wow, okay, definitely, guys, this animation has never been so smooth, I can guarantee you. So for sure, this animation and also the recent menu, absolutely butter. Guys, if you have liked this video, don't forget to really like this, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to install the latest version for the Samsung One Unit Launcher, and please, you and your families, stay safe. We'll see you over and bye.